Hi everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel and today I have a Stitch Fix. And I've taken all the items out of the box so you don't have to listen to all that noise. And included with this bundle of spring colors is a return bag of course. Anybody who's familiar with the process of style boxes knows you get a little return bag where you can just pop it in here, throw it in the post office and it's all ready to go, pre-addressed and stamped. This is a pretty small bag, so I'm thinking maybe Stitch Fix think they <clears throat> really did a good job on this one. And we'll see. Um, you also, with Stitch Fix, get a card, a styling card. And this card has notes from your stylist. My stylist is Leslie, who I had and then she went away and now I have her back. And I'm very happy about that. Um, let's see. Of course, she said it was fun to style. <clears throat> and um, she put in some Liverpool trousers that are comfortable fabric, she says, and a color that we're going to see all over the place in the coming months. I bet it's that coral color. That's uh, I don't think they're calling it coral, but <clears throat> for me it's coral. I'm pretty simple. <laughs> um, and tops, she chose little to no poly that coordinate with the trousers, she said, and your bottom's currently in your closet. Uh, the Cupio has a crochet detailing with a romantic spirit I thought you'd love. And a striped Xenio tunic for a more classic style. And the market and spruce top for comfort and ease of partnering. And add a Bancroft cuff to your finished look. Enjoy your fix. So, <clears throat> that's that. And then, of course, the price list. And I will tell you that everything is either in a 20W or a 2X. That's the size I wear, so that's the size I get. And that my total is $268. If I bought all items in my box, I get a 25% discount, which is $67, which would bring the total of everything to $201. See if you can see that in here. <laughs> so that's it. So let's start with the Bancroft cuff. I'm not a, a much of a fashion jewelry jewelry wearer, but since it's in my house, I will go ahead and give it a try on. Um, <clears throat> See, my problem with cuffs is that I just don't like this distance between them. This one isn't as bad as many. I think I like, a, you know, I like a looser bracelet, something that fits looser. Like when I buy a bracelet, like a Pandora, um, or anything like that that I have a choice on, I usually get an 8 inch so that it has plenty of slide around room. But that's the bracelet. It's very pretty, and people who can rock these, I'm sure, would love it. Uh, it's just not something I normally wear. So, anyway, I'm going to set that to the side. So, the next is a top by Cupio. This is the one she's talking about in the thing, and it's really pretty fabric. Look at that. Shades of blue, and I'm going to say brown, but maybe she's calling it that coral color. It's got some crochet here. It's just got a regular, you know, um, elastic sleeve, but it's also got crochet down the front, as you can see here, I think. And then it's also in the back. It's pretty sheer and light, so it's nice Florida, Florida friendly. It's long. <laughs> I'm in here somewhere hiding behind it, so I like the colors. I think the colors would work on me. The, pardon the hat, I haven't been able to take a shower. I'll explain that later. So, next is the Market and Spruce top. Now, this is a navy. You can see it says Market and Spruce. Um, and it's a kind of a t shirty material, a little bit nicer quality, heavier than that. But you know, that kind of feel, it feels kind of like a t shirt. And it has this trim that is sort of a turquoise and again, the kind of corally color. It's, um, I got a new halo light. I'm not even sure I need it in the day, but I thought that way I could also film at night instead of being so uh, penned in at times that I can film. But it seems to be washing this out unless it's really close. Yeah, maybe it's just too far away. But anyway, this looks very comfy. Um, right off the bat, 
I would say it doesn't look like my style. However, I can try it on and we'll see. <laughs> Next is another Kupio top. And it is a black and white striped, really long top. And you can see the stripe changes at the bottom to go horizontal, where at the top it is vertical. It has long sleeves, however, I believe it has the tabs you can roll up because I see the button there. So I'm sure there's tabs in there. Very breezy, very cute. Uh, I don't, I'm not crazy about super long tops like that, but I will give it a try. And then finally, the Liverpool pants she was talking about. Look at this color. Okay, y'all know I chickened out on the red pants that I had one time. I think they were from fashion though. But there they are. I, they look cropped. They could be ankle pads. I can't remember. But they are by Liverpool. Let's see what it says about these items. Okay. The, okay, Liverpool Philip straight leg trouser. So it doesn't say cropped or ankle or anything. In the corals, what they call it. These are $98. The cuff in here was $28. The V-neck tunic, this one here, was $44. The embroidered detail top from Market and Spruce is $54. And finally, the uh, crochet trim detail top is $44. So, um, the metal cuff was the least expensive item in the box at $28. And the trouser is the most expensive at $98. So, we'll get these tried on in just a moment. Um, before that, I know that some of you who are more observant, and maybe even some who aren't, might be noticing this little patch on my neck here. That is a heart monitor. I'll just tell you right up front <laughs> so you don't have to ask or wonder. Yeah, it's a heart monitor. I have to wear it for three days, and that's why I haven't been able to do much in the way of bathing, uh, especially this first four, 24 hours. So. But anyway, just wear it for three days, see how my heart's ticking. It was just medical week, you know, mammogram, this, that, so. Tune-up. I'm getting a tune-up. I'll be back in a minute. Something's wrong up in here with this. Look how it, the side lays flat. And this is the side with the heart monitor. Which, <laughs> um, this side is not laying flat. I don't know what that's about. But other than that, it's a very cute top. I just have it on with my white shorts I had on. Um, it's very cute. I, I think it's a little snug in the bust and the upper arms. The upper arms were okay once I pulled it down and got the embroidery lower. But then when I lift my arms, it goes right back up to where it was. It's, it's really long in the back. Much longer in the back than the front. As you can see, it's a high-low-ish. I love the fabric. I think it's very pretty. And all this embroidery stuff. It's kind of <clears throat> a little off. Seems like it should be more like right here than over here. But, you know, that's not a big deal. But anyway, it's very pretty. I like the fabric. I think the style is pretty cute. But uh, I think it's made for someone that just, uh, it should be just a little uh, looser in the bust line and upper arms for me to be comfortable. I mean, it's okay, but any when it gets washed or anything, I don't know. It's just a little, a little bit snug to. I'd be worried always. You know, did I shrink it? But anyway, it's very nice. But I'm going to try on the next items, and we'll see how those go. Okay, here's the next top. Um, Anyone who's watched my channel for more than five minutes probably knows I complain constantly about getting gray. I don't know if this is gray and white or black and white and gray, but it definitely reads gray. And when I look at it in the mirror in the bathroom, it totally reads gray, which isn't a good color on me. Um, I think the top itself is cute. Yes, I do. Does it look good on me? No. It doesn't do anything for me. I don't know what it is, but it does not work for me. <laughs> oh, yes, and I, I 
I think they are tab sleeves. They're a double button, so I didn't bother to go to all that trouble because once I had it on, I knew it wasn't right, but let me just double check. I'm pretty sure, if I reach my arm in here, that somewhere in here I'll find a tab. Yeah, there it is. Well, of course, it's right under the button. That makes sense. So it goes all the way down to here. So it is a tabbed top. Tippy toes or back. back. Um, it is longer in the back again than the front. As you can see. And it is a long tunic. This is a length that my mother enjoys. Me, not as much. Probably because my mother wears it. You know how it is. <laughs> You don't want to wear what your mother wears. <laughs> Even though my mother dresses very well, I don't want to wear her clothes. But, so this is it. It uh, feels very nice. Love the fabric. I think she did a great job of picking out nice fabrics. But which I'll write the fabrics down below, or maybe I'll do them in the recap because this is going to be a short video with the bracelet and two items. The next two items I'm going to put on together. So anyway, speaking of those next two items, let's go. Okay, so here's the pretty detail here in the coral and the turquoise. And it's a nice top. It feels good. It has a nice sleeve length. And then there's the pants. Which are an ankle length. I think you can see the length of them. I'm not sure. I'm a little clumsy for kicking up a leg. <laughs> Um, I like that they fit in the legs, in the upper legs. That is so great. They definitely have some crotch drop. I have them hiked up. I would be able to, I think on these, take a seam on the sides because they're plenty big enough and that can sometimes help raise the crotch. Uh, I don't really like them with this shirt. A couple reasons. One is that the whole outfit just looks a little conservative for me. Uh, not politically conservative. I'm not, I'm not getting into that. No, just, you know, uh, I don't know. I think I like to have something. I'm not edgy by any means, but maybe a little more uh, artsy, romantic, girly, something. But this is just a little, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the right word. It's nice. I see lots of people wear these successfully. They're just not me. So, um, but they do go together well, if that is your style. Uh, the pants. Like I said, they fit well on the legs. They, they do have some crotch drop. It's not the worst ever. And uh, when I was pulling them up, I was able to cover a lot of it up. I tried them on with two other shirts, two other tops in my own closet when I was in trying to figure out if I, about this outfit. One was something that didn't match it at all, so, but it was longer and it actually looked pretty good. And the other was something that matched it pretty well, but it was white, so you could really tell where the pants stopped and started. But also the white one, you could really see the thing that does bother me about the pants is the pockets. Because it has pockets, see it? I don't know if you can tell, but fabric sticks out. It gets bulky right here. I know other people are always happy to get pockets. I find them... I don't like them. I mean, if I was tucking something in, which I wouldn't with this, then maybe. Um, but other than that, I think they just add all this bulk around the middle. So I don't like them in pants or dresses, really. So, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. It, I'm just so excited that the pants fit in the thighs <laughs> that I, I think I want to overlook the other issues with them. Okay, I'm back for the bag and hanger portion of the video, and I am going to start that out with the one non-clothing item, the bangle bracelet, which is very cute and pretty. I just, I just don't wear a lot of fashion jewelry, so there's no need for me to keep it and have it just set and tarnish. So it is going to be the first item in the bag. And by the way, I moved you closer to me. I think the camera was a little far back earlier, but you know, I'm still learning with this camera and this new setup, so that's how it is. <laughs> Next is the Cupio top in the blue, which I think is very pretty. I think, what do they call it? They call it light blue. 
and it's $44. If this fit better, I might be tempted to keep it, but it doesn't really fit the way that I think it should. Any warm water, hot water, dryer, anything would, whoo, that'd be it. Um, although I don't put my tops in the dryer, but you never know. Things can get there by accident or you can accidentally uh, wash it on a warmer wash. But anyway, um, it would I would be fussing with it. And, you know, when something doesn't fit quite right, it's not comfortable. I mean, not comfortable as in itchy or anything, but it's just not right. So it is going to go in the bag. Sorry, beautiful top. You are pretty. Next is this one. Now, I was thinking about this one, and I can see this one being a good beachy top, you know, putting on, like, even with the white shorts I have on, maybe. However, how many beachy clothes do I need? Even though I live in Florida, I am a fair-skinned person, so I don't spend a great deal of time at the beach. I go to the beach when we're on cruises sometimes, and we do have a beach vacation for 10 days in end of May, beginning of June, like we did last year. But that's about it, and I do have quite a few what I call beachy clothes. So I really don't think I have the need for this. Although it is very flowy and nice and seems like something that, you know, a person in Florida could get a lot of use out of. But it would be someone more who tans, and that is not me. So this is going in the bag back to Stitch Fix as well. The next item in my pile is the t-shirt-ish. I shouldn't call it a t-shirt-ish. It feels kind of like a t-shirt, but it's definitely thicker, heavier, more substantial, nicer quality. Um, with the embroidery trim of, I don't know, why is my camera making faces at me? <laughs> I just make them back. But um, I just, I didn't care for it. It's just, I guess, not my taste. I like it. I see them on other people. I think they look very nice, but I don't like them on me. So it is going in the bag. And the last item are the Liverpool pants. I'm very on the fence about the pants. I think these could work. I would have to do a little bit of alteration, but I think they could work. They are like $98. Yes. I'll have to see if I have any Stitch Fix credit. <laughs> but, um... You know, I'm just crazy about the fact that they fit in the legs well. But the color, what am I going to wear with them? I'm not sure. And the pockets create all that bulk. So I think for now I'm going to call them in the bag, which is, I feel terrible because I think this was actually a very good stitch. Uh, the assortment, the items were nice. They just, for whatever reason, didn't really work for me. I think part of that white blouse, the one that I said beachy, it's just because it reads gray. I don't know. I just have this thing against me and gray. But, um, so I think for now I'm going to say these are going in the bag. This is Saturday, March the 30th, and I extended my fix until Monday, April 1st. So I have 48 hours to think about it and uh, what I would wear with these. Like I say, I would need something long to cover the crotch droop, but then something long is going to get the bulkiness of the pockets. So I think in the end it's not going to work out, but darn. <laughs> if these were pocketless, these would be on my hanger for sure. They're not. So right now they're going in the bag. So sorry, Leslie, the stylist, if you watch my videos, you did a great job. You really did. I don't know why I'm being so picky or just maybe because I have a lot of clothes and I get a little pickier and I really want to make sure it's something that I absolutely love and have to have and you know that there's no issue so but thanks again for watching my videos don't worry about this I am fine um, I wouldn't even mention it but I know you'll see it so I had to but I'm fine don't worry just you know Routine checkups. Enjoy your weekend.